Hello everyone, in this video we're going to examine SelfCAD's extrusion and cutting tools, uh, quite powerful tools. So let's get started. I have here a basic cube with uh, no uh, tessellation, so it's just uh, six polygons as you see over here. And I want to slice this in half. So in this case, the best cutting tool would be the cubic selection, where you can simply uh, move out and cut something like this. And if I finalize this, this is basically cut out. Um, and that's basically, let's deselect the faces so you can see it starts selecting faces. And you see over here, has 10 faces, basically split these faces in half. And this could be done in uh, much more advanced. You can cut in each direction. Uh, you can even do percentage sizes. And it must be exact selection on, that's the only thing. Because if the exact selection is not on, then it will not cut. So let's see if I turn this off. It basically, it's not selecting only what's completely in the box. So in this case, um, only this face was completely in the box, but if exact selection is on, it will show you, now the cut is not done, it will show you how it's going to be done once I finalize it. So that's basically one cut, and this could be actually quite helpful when it comes to extrusion, and this is a conjunction with the new extrusion, which will, let's say if I'm going to extrude this down, and if you move up that's basic extrusion, we had self get 1.0 as well, but if you do something like this, and I'm extruding it within the object, and self get 1.0 and in many other CAD software, this will kind of leave it like this, which is non-manifold and creates problem geometries, just ed edges that's not working. In SelfKit uh, 2.0, this is what you see actually still in the preview, but as you finalize, this will basically cut it out and make it beautiful. Uh, a cut, uh, yeah, quite nice. So I'm gonna delete this and I'll take another example. Now I'm going to I delete it just the selected faces. So one face was selected, deleted that. So I'll take another shape now, and I'll show you the second way how you can cut with a profile. So in this case, let's go, I'll do a basic drawing, I can do a 3D sketch, and I'm actually going to use, actually, let's take a text. I typed in over here, SelfCAD already, so this is what it's going to take. So I'm going to start dragging out the text over here, SelfCAD, position it on the cube, and I finalize it. Uh, the last action, usually, it's already selected, so you can see the text already selected. I need to select the cube as well, and I will go to Cut. And you can see this is beautifully cut out. So let's test it again with the extrusion, what could be done. And obviously we can extrude outwards uh, this way, we can extrude the negative way and go out this way. If you finalize it, by the way, just this way, you will have inverted normals. You may need to use then the flip uh, to flip the normals and, and so on. And it may still be some problematic uh, geometry. It's usually not a good idea to extrude more than uh, what it should be. But what I want to show now is what I do exact. It's hard to... If I do it exact, sometimes it snaps, but I like to type in. Uh, I know the size of this is 100. You can actually see also the way it flickers, that this actually intersects this. And now if I finalize it, let's see what's happened. It's actually cut out, completely cut out this piece. So this is another interesting thing of extrusion, where it's beautifully cut out. Uh, the lines, by the way, that you see over here, these are not real, this is just the shader, uh, the way it projects the lighting. But if you look into the details, you see there's no details over here basically but these are all perfectly manifold and it's um, yeah really nice you can see the details inside here and this is perfect done so all of these cuttings basically you can do with stitch and scoop but this is um, for the most part but these are very handy these type of extrusions cutting if you want to model something let's say you want to model a house so let me show come to modeling a house these things i'll show one more example with the sketch type of drawing and a cutting tool um, this the cutting tool. So let's say if I go over here and I'll go again to the drawing. In this case, let's use a circle. Uh, you need to make sure I'm actually clicking on the cube, not on the grid, otherwise it will project on the grid. Okay, so let's say if I cut something like this and let's finalize it, select the cube, and now let's go to cut. So now if you do, okay, this is cut, and let's go to selection over here, and there you see this is cut over here, and let's go to extrusion again. So I can basically extrude it all the way, minus 100, or just half of it. We've seen before, if I do half, it will basically remove the edges. But let's see now if I finalize it completely. This made it, look how this is done, quite uh, nicely cut out. So if you want, let's say, remove pieces from the house, you want to do any custom drawing, you can draw any spline, and you can basically cut, let's say, windows and so on, and cut them out the other side, which makes it much easier than always go to stitching, a scoop, and rebuild. The other difference is that this maintains the geometry perfectly fine, just a little bit here, where the stitch and scoop creates a, a very uh, heavy detailed geometry, so this is much easier for modeling. 
there's one limitation on this type of cutting that it must be a polygon um, it must be closed or an edge intersection so let me show you these examples so if i'm going to go now to drawing again let's say i'm going to draw now a simple line and i'm going to intersect from this edge drawing down to this edge and i'm drawing a simple line now now this is a line it's not a polygon it's nothing but it intersects two edges so this should be able to cut so let's see if we're going to cut this and i need to select the object as well so let's do a cut and now let's test it and you see let's see what happened actually if i did cut or not um i may not have had it projected correctly let me see actually it looks like it did not cut let me see why let's see let, let me try another one i'm not sure if i projected it correctly uh, let me try another one make sure i'm projecting it correctly so i go to the drawing now again and so you have to make sure I intersect this. It's very difficult to see if you project correctly unless you do it a flat view. Okay, so now it looks like I projected correctly. So now let's try again to do a cut. And let's see. Okay, actually it did work. Okay, so this is nicely cut this piece out. This is very difficult to see. And usually if you draw on anything, regardless if it's self-cut any other drawing, if you do those type of drawings, you would want to do two things. You would want to go in a flat view and you would want to set it also to a photographic view, which makes it a much more 2D view because in perspective mode, it sometimes looks like you do it. And if you turn it this way, you would sometimes see the line is slightly off. So there's actually another limitation, which it's obvious. Um, if it's not on the plane, it wouldn't cut. It must be on the plane. But in this case, I draw a simple line. It was still cutting. So let's see what I wanted to show the other way. If I draw something that is not manifold, so let's say if I draw something like this, and let's say something just like this it's not closed it's not a polygon not closed now this will not cut basically so let's um, select this object as well and let's try to cut and this basically you see what it says it says it cuts polygons and section pl and in second plane so this if you inspect this now this is not cut okay and basically this is the reason because it's not closed so it will cut something that is not closed if you intersect your edge because technically the remaining pieces are then polygons or if you draw a polygon if i'm going to draw now let's see a simple any custom shape something like this will not cut but if i'm going to close it um let's see i may have not um i think it's a polygon but i, I went out actually let's test this this example is where a piece of it goes out so let's see if it's gonna cut i think it should still but not sure so let's take a look actually it did cut actually it did cut beautifully nice so that's quite good so you can see this is the profile cutting so this idea is basically profile cutting let's delete everything let's take another example okay so i said two two cutting methods so far one is the um, actually three I already showed three cutting methods one is the uh, cube selection one is profile cutting and the next way is the extrusion cutting so extrusion cutting i showed with the text and um, yeah so basically you can do it with any other uh, use case you can extrude and cut out pieces and so on and the fourth way is basically um, such a scoop which is uh, basic uh, cutting finite and cutting out pieces so in general the idea is that cube selection is not cutting out anything it's just splitting faces um, the profile and using cut cutting is actually also splitting faces um, extrusion is more like boolean it removes pieces so if you draw something very basic even if you draw a simple let's say I've got a simple drawing again. Let's take a simple uh, rectangle at this point. If I'm drawing a rectangle like this, and if I'm gonna finalize this, let's say I don't have to finalize it, so I used it before, before finalizing. And then I do, um, oh, I select, I first have to cut. Okay, so let's make the cut. Now let's go to extrusion. And you see over here what's actually happening. This, if I finalize this, this will basically create a cut. And you see over here, this is a, a perfect cut. This is like Boolean operation. You cut out one piece from another, subtract. This is this type of cutting. And then you have obviously the Boolean operation where if I take one shape for another, it will cut it out. So I can take, let's say, something the same idea. And I take then a smaller cube, which let's do something like this. I'll scale it down. I think I'm in a graphic perspective mode. No, okay. Somehow it looked to me like that. Okay, so if I'll take it not sure why something looks odd. Let me reset the camera. Okay, now it's good. So if I take something like this again, I take a smaller one. Let's scale it down a little bit. And I'll make this to, to let's say, 
um, 75 chests, play 75. Five. Okay, and the other side actually I want to make, let's say, 200 to make sure I'm going to be cutting it out. And now let's go to move. I'm going to position it over here. And let's see, it's moved up. It's out inside like this. Okay, now if I go stitch and scoop, and I'm going to subtract this small one. Let's see the name of this. I should actually go to the OS to rename, but now look, this is 19. I'm going to subtract this from this, and this is basically the same idea. It's cut out. Obviously, they didn't position it perfectly, but that's basically the idea. So these are basically the four ways of cutting. And now let's look a little bit more of extrusion, what extrusion can do. Um, a few more things. We've already seen a few, so let's see one more. So the basic extrusion would work is, let's see, I'll test it again with a cube or let's say even a cylinder a sphere. So if you take a basic sphere, let's say I'm selecting faces. If I select, let's say, these faces all at once and I go to extrusion, and by default the extrusion is working let's make it positive by default the extrusion is working all together um, and that works basically the average normal or will extrude something like this you have an option to choose individual and then it will kind of fan out each one in its own direction and then if you make connect it will actually make the connection will be beautifully like this so i can show you uh, two examples how this can actually be used where it could be used so i'm going to cancel this one let's actually show it in a cube again so let's take first example i'll take i'll take this cube i'll scale it down and i'll make it let's say to um let's say one side is going to be 10. i want to make it small do i want to make 10 and this i want to make let's say 200. okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to edge selection i'll select this edge and then the other side around this edge okay and if I go again to the size I'm gonna make this to 220 so it gets also 10 I'm deselecting the edges and I'll select the faces so let's select the faces like this and now let's go to extrusion and you can see we start extruding I can create something like this now this is where the average selection is very good if I make individual it will go at an angle each in its own thing so Sometimes that's what you want, but that will be a completely different thing. Connected over here wouldn't make a difference. Uh, we're actually going to remove this in such cases because it's only if, if it's neighboring. This case it's not neighboring, you can't connect. So that's basically the idea. In this case, I would kind of mirror this and create another one and then connect them together and create some frames and so on. So let's take some other example. Uh, one more example where this is very helpful. And the leader just selected faces. I need to delete the entire thing. So let's take another basic cube then I move down over here now let's take a cubic selection I'm gonna move it to this case let's say I'll move it over here to 50 just cut it in half and I'm finalizing it okay so now I deselect the faces let's go select um, let's see this face over here I'm gonna go to extrusion and I'm gonna move it in a little bit let's say I need to I can make it exact let's say by 50 minus 50 and finalize it so just cut out something like this perfectly fine now i'm going to select let's say this face let's see something else this is already selected it needs to like this it's like this face let's say um just this face by itself and show you how this could be done so if i want to start building let's say a staircase uh, this could be actually have to select this way first and i'm going to extrude uh, this in this case i'll make it positive let's say make it 50 and then I can finalize this. Once I start finalizing, I can select, let's say, this top and do extrusion again, 50 and so on. And you can see I can start building the same idea over here, selecting this, deselecting this, and extrusion 50 and so on. And you can see how I start building a staircase. And let's do one more and we'll leave with that example. And, uh, and so on, okay. So now, what if I want to do an angle? What's the difference between um, individual and not? So let's see an example. So I'm actually going to undo these. And maybe it's faster to make a new one than undo. I don't know. But anyways, so let's see what's going to happen is if I want to select those two faces at the same time. And this will create basically an angle. So what's going to happen now if I do extrusion now? 
you can see it creates like an angle like this. So now if I want to move this out, you can actually create something like a ramp or something like this. So this is basically where this comes in. If I do individual, then it kind of creates like this. But if I do connect it, it will connect them like this. So that's basically what this is doing. So these are basically the movements or extrusion. Uh, the main thing exciting in that what has been added now is the individual and connected, but also the fact that it can cut and that's very powerful. And um, yeah, it's a very nice tool and I uh, hope you enjoyed them all. And also the cutting tools in the tool as well, the cutting with profiles and all of them quite exciting uh, features. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day, bye.